These are Artiste brushes, and Artiste brushes are unique beauty tools with a modernized design that give professional, high-quality makeup application results. These brushes were designed by Matthew Waitsmith, a retired senior executive from MAC Cosmetics. There are three of his brushes available under the MAC brand now, but he offers his full collection under his own brand, Artiste. This is the Elite Mirror Collection, which you can find at artistebrush.com. As you can see, these brushes come in a more conventional hairbrush or toothbrush design with a luxury quality handle and trademark Cosma Fiber Technology bristles that are 100% animal free, meaning that they contain no animal parts or ingredients. Each brush contains three to 10 times more fibers than a regular brush and the fibers are shaped to pick up and apply the maximum amount of product without soaking it into the brush or making a mess. This provides for more smooth and consistent application of product that blends in half the time with half the effort as opposed to an animal hair brush that leaves streaks, patches, harsh lines, and blends unevenly requiring a lot of extra work to get a desired look. Each brush handle is designed with a rubberized grip surface to provide better handling and control similar to that of a toothbrush handle. On each handle is the name and the number of the brush so that it's easy to see which one you're using. Each brush comes in its own box like this with a description and recommendations on the back for how and what to use the brush for. This is the cleaning system that you will use to clean the brushes. Um, it is a patented microfiber cloth that contains over a million fibers per square inch. This cleaning cloth grabs and removes makeup residue from the brush within seconds without changing the shape or damaging the bristles. You can either spot clean after each use or if the brush is extremely dirty, you can use the brush cleaner foam to wet the brush and rub it across the surface of the cleaning cloth whenever you need to clean it the most. My makeup blends very easily as opposed to using a regular brush where I have to really work it in with my arm. All I have to do with the Artiste brush is simply swipe very, very lightly. I'm not even pressing hard on my skin. And as you can see, it's blending everything in flawlessly and it takes about half the time that it would to apply makeup with a regular brush. To do my eyebrows, I'm just taking my eyebrow gel and applying it to the brush like I would toothpaste to a toothbrush. And as you can see, you can just brush that into your brows. I didn't do a very sculpted brow because these brushes do not allow for a very sculpted look. Um, they're not as precise as say a concealer brush that has a really sharp tapered end. These brushes are a lot more for great blending quality. I'm perfectly fine with that if I'm just going to be wearing this makeup look for a normal everyday look. This smaller brush blends my under eye concealer flawlessly. I also use a smaller brush to conceal down my nose and on my forehead and on my chin to kind of give a highlight effect. And the bigger brush can be used to pack on your face powder or powder foundation. And I love this brush because it gets an all over coverage with very, very quick and fast results without having to, like I said, work the brush a lot with your arm. You can also use the smaller brush to contour and highlight. And I'm using the same brush for both of those functions. These brushes don't soak in or hold product and are very easy to clean. The microfiber cloth allowed for me to clean that same brush that I contoured with and use it for my highlight. I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, but I decided to show you how blending in the crease is made very, very easy with the smaller circle brush that I'm using. And as you can see, I got flawless face application in less than 10 minutes. These brushes are great for blending. I found them to be super quick and easy to use. I was amazed by the quality of the brush and how my makeup turned out. All the links you need will be in the description box. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.